On today's video, we're going to talk about how to schedule an appointment. So easiest way for me is simply go to the schedule and find a time slot um, that's available. Simply double click with your left click. Now you will come up here. So the blue patient um, hyperlink here, you can click on. It will take you to your patient list. I always make sure this auto search is checkmarked so that it will go ahead and start searching on each letter you type in. Um, if you want to see inactive patients, you can click this. Um, if not, you would go ahead and uncheck that. And you can also search by first name, last name, patient ID, home phone, work phone, cell phone, chart ID, preferred name and social security number. This is all in version um, 21 we're looking at now. So that's one way to go ahead and find your patient. So you can simply just double click on the name or you can click it once to highlight it and select use. One thing I would recommend is if someone calls in um, and they haven't been in in a long time and they say that they're, they were a previous patient there but you cannot find them in the list, I would go ahead and check this show inactives because they could still very well be in there. They're just marked as inactive. So then you won't have to duplicate that patient. Okay. So another way to search for a patient is simply type in their chart number if you have it or ID number here, or you can type in the last name here as well. If you know the first initial, you can do that. But if you hit tab, it's gonna bring everyone over with that same last name. So like I said, if you know the exact um, name and you wanna type that in, you can do that as well. So now I'm simply gonna either highlight and click use or just double click. Now we're getting some windows here that pops up. This is telling me the patient is currently in the quick fill list. Um, or the appointment queue, do you want to review it? I usually say yes, let's review this information because this very well may be the appointment they are scheduling for. Maybe they had to cancel at one point, we put them in the quick fill list and it'll show that appointment. Now the next window that pops up is it's saying planned services do exist for this patient. So if this quick fill pay, uh, appointment is not the one you're looking for, I would go ahead and select yes. And when you select yes, it's going to go ahead and list all proposed treatment and any treatment plans that you have with, for that patient. You also have the phase numbers um, if there, there is such um, a phase planned within that treatment plan as well. And then over to the right is the status of of those services. So if indeed they are, are coming in um, for one of these services that are planned, go ahead and just simply select it. So let's say we need a crown, two crowns. I'm going to highlight them and use selected planned services. I see he has an account balance, so I know to ask him for that balance. So now we see down here at the bottom that we pulled in those two codes the two crowns and the correct provider. You can always change the provider by going to the drop down here if you need to. It also shows the provider up here, which you can go through and change that up there as well. That's where I would recommend, it, recommend changing it if you need to do so. Now let's go ahead and delete these out of the appointment. Let's say there is no treatment um, proposed. You're going to say they're calling for an emergency. I would come up here, make sure the appointment type is correct for, for emergency. We have a defaulted time frame of 30 minutes. We can always change that amount of time if we need to. Let me go ahead and remove what it put in there from before. And we can come down here and click add service. Now, if you had a, have exploding codes within your system that you have created, you can use those, which I think I do have one. Here we have a limited um, exam with the PA, so I'll go ahead and select that. Otherwise, you could go ahead and either type in the service code, the ADA code, 
description or service type if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and just use my exploding code, which is a group of codes that are typically used together and those are created um, typically when we come in to train you for your first visit or for your um, when you start using your software. So that pulled in both the codes, the um, emergency exam and periapical film. Again, you have your provider. It shows you the date. If the patient says, you know, I can come in sooner if possible, if something opens up, you can check mark that. Okay. And then down here also, you can see if there's any other appointments scheduled for that patient. And then we can go ahead and hit save. And there we have the appointment schedule. Now, if you need to move it to a different time that day, you can simply drag and drop it. Or you can drag it over to the queue right here where the green arrow says move and you can release it. And then you can drag it from the queue. You can also move it to a different day if you wanted to drag it over to the queue. Go to tomorrow. Well, let's go to the next day. Tomorrow, Saturday. We'll go to Monday and go ahead and drag it over. We have the wrong provider. There we go. So if you go to schedule the appointment in a doctor um, that typically doesn't see the patient or work that particular day, you'll get a little um, pop-up warning to inform you of that. So I'll go ahead and move it back to today. Now you can also schedule family appointments. So if you come up here, you'll see this icon has a drop down error. So you, so you have more options here. So you can create a block. You can create a quick fill appointment. You can also create a family appointment. So if you are scheduling for multiple family members on the same day, maybe for hygiene, you can come in here, you'll see that it is a family appointment. You can type in the last name. And I'll go ahead and select Charles. Now it's gonna bring up everyone in his family. So for whomever I want to make that appointment for, I'll simply check the box here and you can change the appointment type. So if it's all for profies, We'll go ahead and do that. We'll go to the drop down and change it. You can also mark all, clear all over here instead of checking each individually. So I'll go ahead and hit save. Now, when we look at the queue under family appointments, we have the three of them. So we can simply find the times on the schedule and we can drag and drop them over. Okay, and that's how you can do a family appointment. So just a super quick video um, on how to get patients scheduled. Stay tuned, we'll have more videos coming.